This is Patrice Green, the blood bank resident. I got your page about patient Judy Jetski. Yes, I need you to do plasmapheresis for this patient who has Bendai syndrome. Okay, what's Bendai syndrome? You mean you don't know? No, I don't know offhand. It's the third stage of the legacy virus. It doesn't matter. It's a condition that's treated with plasmapheresis. Everybody's doing it. Okay, well, I just did a quick search and it looks like there's just one series of nine patients with equivocal results from Holland but no randomized or controlled trials. Are there any other articles you know of? Everybody's doing it, everywhere. You are so behind the times. When you say everybody's doing it, who else is doing it other than this one place in Holland? We did this all the time where I trained. This must be a case of the East and West Coasts being up to date and it hasn't reached the Midwest yet. Does insulting people usually get them to do what you want? What did you say? I was saying, um, this indication doesn't seem well established. If you need to be educated, call the expert, Dr. Higginbottom. Dr. Higginbottom? But she's in the Midwest like we are. You just said that the Midwest was behind the time. I have no time for this. I need you to use their protocol. What is their protocol? They did plasmapheresis every day for 12 days, and that's 12 consecutive days, including weekends and holidays. 12 days? Well, first I should mention that we don't have enough nurses to work on the weekend unless it's an emergency. Then after the first 12 days, do plasmapheresis twice a day. Twice a day? Twice a day for two days, then one day off, then three days on, then five days off, then one day on. Wait, two, one, three, five, was it five? What if some of these days fall on a weekend? Good, the protocol requires your obedience. Oh, well, that seems excessive. I'm not finished. Every day, also do photophoresis the same day. Photophoresis at the same time? And red cell exchange every night at midnight. Red cell exchange every night also? And it has to start exactly at midnight, not a second before or after. No deviations from the protocol are allowed. I'll talk with my attending and call you right back. I talked with my attending, Dr. Overlord. Good. What did he say? That you should stop your whining and obey me? Well, he made a few phone calls. First, he contacted the author that published the series of nine patients in Holland. She says they don't even do it anymore because the results were so equivocal. They just did it that one time for those nine patients. We did this all the time where I trained. He also asked the director where you trained, and he said they've never done this protocol or anything like it. They don't even have plasmapheresis machines at their hospital and never have. And he called Dr. Higginbottom, who, you know, is an expert and somehow in the Midwest also, and she said she's never even heard of this. And he also talked with your group's director here in this hospital. And he agrees that it is sensible to consider this experimental therapy and only treat a patient if there's compelling evidence, a compelling rationale, or if it's part of a research study. And finally, my attending said that there may be places that do this, but you're here now. If you feel strongly that this needs to happen, then transfer the patient to one of these many hospitals that you claim does do this. Oh, I see what you mean. When there's no good evidence that something works, then there will be differences of opinion. And maybe I have too much irrational confidence in my opinion. Is that what you're saying? Yes. They could keep bringing the rain, you just keep bringing the parade.